Greetings kids. Today I want to talk about the Wii Comic Con I went to. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, it was one of the best things ever. I bought a bunch of comics. Okay, I didn't buy a bunch. I bought some Harry Potter stuff for my Harry Potter collection, which here they oh, oh and a really brilliant piece of art by a really great guy. I will show this off right here. He drew this. Like, oh my god. Oh, so beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. I know, it looks kind of... I, I don't know. It's beautiful. And I think it's supposed to be... I think it's supposed to be a female Harry. I'm not entirely sure. And I don't entirely care. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm getting it framed for my... Harry Potter collection. It is one of the only pieces of um, un unofficial merch that I will buy because I try to only buy official merch with the exception of really good fan made pieces like this because it, I, it caught my eye. I just had to have it. So I'm going to get it framed. It's gorgeous. And then I bought a Venom card for Iron Zebra. And I bought me three comics. Bought me some a Woody Woodpecker. Well, technically it's new funnies, but close enough. Uh, Baby Huey and another new funnies, which has some stuff. It also has Andy Pandy. I mean Andy Panda. I mean I'm not a big fan of Andy Panda, but I got it for the Oswald content. So because <laughs> I love some Oswald, they all new. Um, so yes, let's see. So there's that. The other thing I want to point out is uh, I, it was great. The food trucks were kind of limited, but we solved that problem ourselves later. Um, we were there from the beginning. We left because we weren't going to be there all day. So I don't blame them because the venue was kind of small. They probably could only get so much. So that happened. It was great. The organizers at the vintage mini Comic Con did a great job. I think it was great. It was perfect. Just the right size for us. So we enjoyed it. Um, they were doing a raffle. We didn't win the first raffle. So after that point, I decided to get up and get going to check the food trucks out so we could get some lunch. Because we'd been there for about an hour and a half, almost two hours at that point. So I figured it the best course of action was to get up and scoop. Because it. We'd seen all, not all the stuff, not all the stuff, but a lot of the stuff. So, actually, we did end up seeing all, of it, but it was it was great. Um, so yeah, we enjoyed ourselves, and as y'all notice here, I was dressed as a Slytherin student. Uh, the best part of the entire Comic Con was when somebody acknowledged my costume, said it was really cool, and. I got to brag about my big coffee table copy of Fantas or what's known as the illustrated copy of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I was able to tell someone where to get it correctly. When I say correctly, I mean the only place you should be getting it. Do not go to Barnes & Noble. Don't buy it at Barnes & Noble. You'll pay too much. You need to go to... Uh, uh, we uh, have a store here that's used books that I went to um, at K's. They had it there. I preferred, uh, I prefer and basically tell people only get your books used when you can. If you have to buy it brand new because it's a gift for somebody that you like, it's like a Christmas gift or something, or you have to get it new because it's like certain type of, like specific books because there are some books you can't buy used because they come with say like a CD or a code or something that you need or whatever. That's fine. But try to only buy used because you're going to just save you a lot of money. Especially if, you, if you're just getting into the series or you don't know if you like the series. Or even better, especially if you have most of the series and you're only missing one or two or something. Except you're, unless you're buying Clink and Badger. Do buy that new because, yes. So, yeah, that was amazing. Actually, it was all great. And uh, I figured I'd talk about it while I'm still in costume. Yes. So... Uh, I also want to uh, share 
the uh, story of my character, because my Slytherin student actually has a whole character and backstory. So I'm going to share that with you guys right now, because I think I should. So, my Slytherin student is intelligent, uh, as intelligent as Hermione Granger. Uh, I'm not, of course, um, my student is also a war skunk, because I am purple skunk. And my uh, students, a student, not, student, not, uh, student does not have a name quite yet. I will come up with one. Uh, it will probably be something really cool. I don't know yet, but um, they don't have a name yet. So I guess I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe skunk something. Uh, I haven't thought of something. Maybe skunky something or the I don't know. I haven't thought of one. So, but eventually I will come up with a name. But they don't have a name. But they're uh, they're at the same level of intellect as far as Hermione goes. Actually, even smarter than Hermione. However, only when it comes to magical creatures. They uh, when it comes to potions, they are amazing at it. They happen to be better than Snape when it comes to potions, so much so that in the, uh, in their third year, they get asked if they want to take the opportunity to, um, teach, not like full-time, obviously, but teach as a substitute for the potions master who actually gets, um, out of commission for about a week or so, because he ends up making a mistake with one of his potions. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, hey, say hi. Say hi to the camera. Hey. Say hi. Okay, you don't want to say hi. Say hi. Okay, everyone. Sorry, that was Mr. Fuzzy. But, um, let me take my hoodie off for a minute. Okay, so they are, like I said, they are in. More intelligent than Hermione Granger, only when dealing with, um, you know, like the magical creatures, care of, caring uh, magical creatures and how to care for them or care of magical creatures. Uh, they are so smart, well, and in potions, because they are in, so smart in potions that they were given the opportunity to substitute teach uh, potions for um, first, second, and third years. They're actually nearly smart enough in defense against the dark arts that they that they actually got all the owls possible. They um although they are basically me mostly, except for the fact that the yeah, the the, the uh so still deaf hey you stop that. No. They're still deaf blind be on the one side because I am and they're basically me. Uh, the only difference is that uh, magic could fix it, but they don't get it fixed because they're a skunk, and therefore they were told by some one of the healers that you can't get it fixed because if you attempt to fix your hearing or your sight magically, well, there's no mobile way to fix it. And if they try magic to fix it, it may cause adverse reactions because of the um, worse skunkness. And they... Um, this, the student is born that way. It is not like in something that happens by accident. No. Their father, because, like, okay, I could go werewolf, but here's the problem. Everybody does werewolf. Werewolf is overdone. And even though you don't see other wares in the Harry Potter universe, I make the assumption that if werewolves exist, then more skunks can exist too. Until Mama Rowling says otherwise. So, they were born that way because their parents, one of which actually got, is the one that got in the accident, and passed it on to them and uh, they have one sibling uh, they're basically the weasleys it's basically like their their family is basically kind of like the weasleys nice kind and all but you know they're all slytherins every single one of them uh and they have one sibling but the sibling actually died uh, because the child was born with the same thing as her However, the difference is she did not survive. Or, yeah, they didn't survive because they were actually um, 
given some kind of well when the sibling was born and the sibling had the same problem the father tried to fix the sibling because he didn't want two of his kids to have to suffer with this thinking he found something he did not find something and the sibling actually died because of his stupidity um but it did not actually have him going anywhere like Azkaban because the, it wasn't entirely his fault so and of course pure-blooded because I can and this is my Harry Potter character so I say I'm pure-blooded um, and I also say that uh, we're wealthy because I can uh, we have lots and lots of galleons we are almost on par with the Potters in terms of um, amount of galleons actually more so that like the potters are considered the wealthiest we are at they are second wealthiest compared to our family because i can and i will and because of that uh, i happen to donate lots of money to lots of different causes and at some point i randomly end up um i don't know I don't know. That's about all I can think of. There's there's more I could add, but that's about all I can think of for my character. Um, there's probably more I could add, but, you know. So, yes, and as y'all saw, I had my shoes. I'm wearing the tie that Papa Puzzle Gunk fixed for me. My tie, my sweater, my little thing. Yes, so, I went overboard. Now, let's see, Mr. Fuzzy, why won't you be on camera? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. You're a good boy. Yeah, Mr. Fuzzy had to say hi because he wants to... Oh, yes, he wants to be the center of attention, doesn't he? Yeah, you want to be the center of attention? Want to be center of attention? Okay, yes. So, yeah, uh, the Comic-Con was great. Actually, I think I'm going to pull out the Venom card that I purchased for her and Zebra. Because I do want to show this off as well. Because the kids are beautiful, they're beautiful. Super beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Also, I need to think of what. Bubby, stop it. Ta da! So yeah, that's what I got, Iron Zebra. Because, well, okay, so side note. When Iron Zebra went to his Comic-Con, he bought me a piece. So I decided to return the favor and get him a really cool um, Venom card. I chose Venom because there were other options, but I knew he would know Venom and also he built a... A Venom costume for Halloween. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give him Venom because he'd probably be more inclined to enjoy the Venom card. So, yes. So that's his little present. It's amazing. I love it. So, yeah. Um, that, look at it. So cool. And this is the guy that made it. Um... They're called uh, Man Eating Cake Comics. Okay, that's actually cool. Uh, so they have a whole bunch of different comics and things that they make. Uh, let's see. I don't know if the QR code will show up right. But there's that. And the... I don't know if it's going to show up correctly. But the... Uh, it's facebook.com slash... Uh, man eating cake comics uh it is yeah the art is great as y'all saw the harry potter one is amazing i love it it's going to be perfect because he is being an ass i don't know why oh well but yes so that is my little comic-con video uh i didn't film inside the comic-con for a couple of reasons uh number one i was with mama puzzle skunk and i'm not going to film while i'm with her um more than necessary uh, and it's a very small Comic-Con. They had it inside of a hotel, and it was not like at a convention center. 
It's just like a one room Comic Con, so it wasn't really. There weren't booths with people set up. I mean, there were booths with people set up. It was mostly people selling comics and art. So I didn't uh, feel comfortable filming most of it. Um, I did get a picture with the Ghostbuster. That was actually awesome. I might include that picture of me with the Ghostbuster. Uh, maybe. I doubt it. But yeah, so there was that. So uh, there wasn't much to film because, you know, because when I spend time with Mama Puzzle Skunk, it's about Mama Puzzle Skunk. But I didn't want to show off some of the stuff that I got because, yes. Because why not? So I, of course, got. I don't know if it's going to show up good, but I got Baby Huey. Because, yes. I even had the old advertisement from back in the day. It says every Sunday at 5 p.m. on ABC, T uh, ABC TV, Harvey Comics, August number 20th. This was only 10 cents back in the day. Dang, that's <laughs> cute. That's cheap. So I got that. I have the, my copy. Again, this is started as 10 cents. My new copy of... Um, New Funnies, this one is, I think, specifically uh, Woody Woodpecker. This is like one of the new newer designs. And there's Knot Hole and... Uh, not... And... Um, mm, I can't remember the other nephew's name. Or the, the niece's... Like, one of them's Knot Hole, and I can't remember what the niece or nephew's name is. So, yeah. Knot Hole and Branch? I don't remember... If somebody knows what their name is, let me know in the comments down below because I don't remember and I don't feel like Googling it. Um, and then, of course, this one, which is my favorite. It's got Woody Woodpecker. There's Homer Pigeon, which I've never heard of Homer Pigeon. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. There is Andy Panda, which not my favorite character. But, y'all, do you see that? Do you? Well, I don't know if you do. Do you see that? Oswald. They have Oswald the Lucky Rabbit in this one. This is the only reason I picked it up. Um, yeah. Uh, I can't wait to read it. But I'm gonna save it because I don't want to read it all in one go. So, yeah. And, yeah. So, that's what happened there. Uh, Mama Puzzle Skunk got a whole bunch of heavy metal, which was good because she likes heavy metal, the magazine. Um, I think she cleared that guy's table right out. Which, that's actually kind of cool. So yeah, and then we bought one, she bought one comic that was really cool, which was... This one, which is really neat, who's the only black guy at the entire convention? Aw, and of course he signed it for Mama Puzzle Skunk, and that was kind of awesome, because she was trying to support, you know, show him some support, so that was good. And I am trying to find... House of Mystery. There was an, another bunch. She got some House of Mystery, but that's not what I'm looking for. What I am looking for... Aha! Here's the other pieces that I bought in my collection. Because I decided why not and I don't know if I have a full set I don't care if I have a full set I'm not gonna go digging for a full set but I just wanted to prove it no 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 the bottoms are getting oh the bottoms got wrecked 
and the back the back packaging got ripped. Oh well. That's alright. I'll have to get some clear plastic. Um, I'm gonna get me some clear plastic boxes for these guys to protect them. Especially this guy, because this guy got squished because of the bag it was in. Which, that sucks, but the packaging is still okay. So, uh, these are called Nano Metallics. Uh, this one is Lord Voldemort. This is 100% die cast metal. So, could use these for like, like, Humble Phillips Gun said, you could use these for D&D probably. And it also comes, and it has a little Nagini. We have Alistair Mad Eye Moody, which is really awesome. And then the other one that I bought at the table is, let's see if I can find it here. Here it is. This set, which I paid 20 for because I was willing to pay that because I wanted a full good set. So this one, let me see if it'll, I don't know if it'll show up on camera. But here we go. So this one's really cool. This one has Harry Potter, Albus Dumbledore, Draco Malfoy, P Professor McGonagall, and Marcus Flint. So this one has a bunch of good ones. Eee, he's got my favorite. He's got Draco. He's so cute. Okay, yes. So although the detail on these Considering the scale, they're really good, but, you know, it's nice having some official Harry Potter collectibles. Now, let's see. Let's see. What do I need to get? So, I already have Harry Potter. Oh, this one. This one, actually. This other set to look for has Percy Weasley. Percy Weasley. Ooh, okay. I might need to get these. Alright, this set. Now, if I get... Okay, because I already have... Yeah, see, the problem is this one would make this a duplicate if I bought that set, too. I don't know. So, there you go. See the back. See the side. See the other side. Da -da -da. So, yeah. That is my um, Comic-Con video. Y'all also got to hear a little bit about my, excuse me, my Slytherin student. So yeah, that, I will see you guys in the next video. I have got to get out of my wizarding uniform because I now have to go back to being a plain boring muggle for the next while because, well, I can't be a, I cannot show off my wizardingness anymore for a while. It sucks, but I get it. We have to be boring muggles, to, and we all have to be boring muggles sometimes because they, they, cause the world isn't ready for our fabulousness and our magic. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the... Here, we can get this off. Uh-oh. Oh, and before I do go, I just wanted to show this off really quick. It says, I myself am strange and unusual. Uh, Mama Puzzle's gun. Ah, no! Hey, stop that! Sorry, everybody. That's who was being a jerk. Yes, so it says, I'm myself and strange and unusual. Uh, Mama Puzzle's gun got that for me. Stop that, Fuzzy. You'll get sick. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!